alert tonight that law enforcement is asking for your help to solve. Sarasota police say they're looking for a prowler who's broken into homes in the same neighborhood over the past two years, many times assaulting female college students. All new at 11, our Allison Morrow explains why his victims are concerned that they never heard of this guy until it was too late. Allison. Well, Jameson, these women tell me they never heard about him until two years after police believe his attacks began. And if they had, they say maybe they could have done something to prevent, prevent his attack on them. And he said, don't say anything or scream or I'll kill you. She says it lasted maybe a minute, this new college senior who woke up early one September morning last year to a masked man in her bed. All of a sudden, I'm pinned down on my back and... There's a guy on top of me. A day later, New College sent this alert to students, warning them there had been similar incidents in the area. Then just five months later, three blocks away. He said, don't say anything, and put his arm across me. And likely the same man, police say, involved in five incidents with Ringling and New College victims. But this time, the victim's male roommate chased the suspect down. That's why there's a sketch now where there wasn't before. White, five foot nine, medium build. Both women say he came in through a back door both times around 4 a.m. and both times he knew exactly which room to hit but his victims say they never knew about the pattern until it was too late. I didn't realize that the incidents were related. The women say the email alerts weren't specific enough, didn't warn of a serial perp, but New College says they passed along all the information they got from police who didn't tell them the crimes might be related until a year had gone by. It's incredibly frustrating to know that this person is still out there attacking my friends, um, also possibly still watching me. We were unable to reach Sarasota police for comment, but they are warning residents near the U.S. 41 corridor to be cautious. Lock your doors and windows. Do not walk or run by yourself. And if you see anything suspicious, give them a call at 941-487-4210. Jameson. Allison, thank you. We want to bring you breaking news out of Tallahassee tonight. State lawmakers say a portion of your auto insurance bill should drop in the